Are you already reaching out to Joyce DeWitt and or Mariah Carey to guest star <laughs> on the show? <laughs> Joyce DeWitt's been mentioned a few times. I mean, it's not off the table, I'll say that. But then I'm worried that that would be the end of your life. That if Mariah Carey made an appearance on the show, I'm worried. Well, that I would, that would be, be the incapable last day. of doing my job. That would be the first thing. <laughs> Her tweeting about the show left me a shaking, quivering mess. <laughs> Um, and Annie was with me when it happened. All I could do was take photos of his reaction. <laughs> we were sitting on an airplane, and yeah. friends of mine started texting me saying Mariah Carey, and I was like, "Yeah, I know she's she's everything." What do, I mean, what do you mean? <laughs> and they were like, "No, the tweet." And I'm like, "What tweet? She tweets all the time." And they were like, "No, the tweet about the show." And I lost my mind, ran to my phone, picked it up, and she had retweeted my face. Pat- Patrick saying you're my Mariah Carey with like a heart and a laugh cr- cr- cry oh and I and lost my the mind the noise that came out of your body my 14 year old self with Mariah Carey posters on the wall cu- suddenly I was like shot back to my bedroom at 14 <laughs> where you think like these people are so far out of reach and something somehow connected the two of us mm-hmm. and it was an incredibly profound experience for me Eugene, can you confirm that bedroom decor? Oh, there were Mariah Carey posters. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. And then oh, I yeah. did text Noah saying, she did tweet your face and not mine, which is fine. Yes. Um, Honestly, it's my like crowning achievement. Yeah. <laughs> but she tweeted your face, so you got to get more excited than a, that's cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah, great stuff. <laughs> I mean, have you reached out to her to be on the show? Uh, n- listen, sh- if she's listening today, she is an open invitation, but I have more in store for her, I think. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh, mm-hmm. interesting. Interesting. Do you have the final moment in your mind? I don't know if as like um, writers, if you think, okay, this is how I want this show to end, however many seasons down the line. Mm-hmm. Do you know it yet? I've known it for years. Yeah. I've, Yeah. Before you knew the beginning. Well, simultaneously. I think in a way you almost have to have at least a vague sense of how you want your show to end because there has to be sort of thought and care put into the structure of how you're telling your story. Um, And I'm only speaking from my own experience, but it was really important for me to at least have a sense of, if not the specificity of the exact moment, but the sentiment that we wanted to convey at the end of all of this. And I've had that for a long time. A fire takes out the it's whole It's a full town. blaze. Yeah. And it's just and carnage. And, yeah. <laughs> Zombies then. Yeah. Mariah Carey, the only one who survives. Mariah Carey pulls up in a limo, puts out a cigarette and says, oops. And that's, the motel is just burnt to the ground. 